Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today we'll be talking about Cramorant from Vivid Voltage. But before that, please leave a like to this video, hit that thumbs up, this actually helps me out with the YouTube algorithm getting this video to more viewers like yourselves. And thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. As for this new Cramorant, I am definitely a big fan of the mechanics of this particular card. While Cramorant only has 110 HP, its attack Continuous Gulp Missile is where it's at. For just 2 colorless energy, this attack will do 60 damage times the number of Arakuda you discard from your bench using this attack. So aside from the 2 energy on Cramorant, you will need 1 to 4 Arakudas for this attack to work. It is worth noting that Arakuda has the flock attack. For one colorless, it allows you to search your deck for up to two other Arakuda and put them on your bench. So if you discard all four Arakuda with Cramorant's attack, it will be dealing 240 damage, which is exceptional. The only downside is that this Cramorant can no longer deal any damage unless you get those Arakudas back onto your bench, which is why the new Nessa support card perfectly combos with this deck. Nessa allows you to put up to 4 in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy from your discard pile into your hand. So the idea here is that after you attack with Cramorant, we'll get the Arakudas back with Nessa and be able to attack again. Just make sure though that you have a backup Pokemon on your bench before you attack, because if you don't, Cramorant will be left alone after discarding all Arakudas, and if your opponent knocks out that Cramorant, that will be game over. I did add an extra power to this deck build. If timed perfectly and with all necessary cards, you can deal damage which can one hit KO even an ADP. So basically if you have all 4 Arakuda set up on the bench, that will deal 240 damage. But if you have a Vitality Band equipped, that will increase attack to 250. And if you use Leon, which I do have 1 in this deck, you can increase Cramorant's attack by 30. So. In total, Cramorant can deal up to 280 damage, which is not bad at all for a one prizer Pokemon. And here's a sample of what I mean. For good measure, I've also added one Barascuda to evolve an Arakuda. Barascuda has this attack for just one energy, Targeted Skewer, which can double an already damaged Pokemon on your opponent's bench. So just in case Cramorant is unable to KO the opponent, and then they retreat, Barascuda can just snipe it to finish the job. I was actually thinking of putting a telescopic sight to pair with this Barascuda, but I just didn't have enough room in this deck. So maybe next time. To combo with Cramorant though, I am going to use the Shady Dealings Intellion line so that I can easily get the trainer card I would need to hit those combos. So basically, if you evolve from your hand into Drizzile or Intellion, the Shady Dealings ability allows you to search your deck for one or two trainer cards. This will allow us to get those Nessas from our deck. So I have a 2-2-2 line of Intellion. I am also using Snorlax with Gormandai's ability, which is a good Pokemon to have for setup early on in the game. This way we can get as much cards onto our hand right away. Gormandai's allows you to draw cards until you have 7 in your hand, but it will end your turn. I also have Mew for its bench barrier ability and Fion so that we can force our opponent to switch out their active, especially if they have a tankier Pokemon in the active. At least with the Whirlpool suction ability. We could potentially get an easier knockout if our opponent switches out, so I think this will definitely come in handy. As for the rest of the deck, I have one Palpad. In case we run out of Nessa in the deck, this one can get at least two of them back from the discard pile. Next is two copies of Pokegear. Three Quick Ball, three Scoop Up Net, three Switch, one Chaotic Swell, two Bosses Orders, one Cynthia and Caitlyn, one Leon, one Lieutenant Surge Strategy, two Marnies, and definitely a full set or 4 copies of Nessa, 2 Professor's Research, and 2 Sonya's. Next is 1 U-Turn Board and 2 Vitality Band. 
As for energy, I have 3 capture energy. This is especially good for energizing Cramrat, but get ourselves an Aracuda along the way. I also have a full set or 4 copies of Twin Energy. This is the primary means by which we energize our Cramrat and 3 basic water energy. We do need that basic energy so that when we use Nasa, we can bring those energies back from the discard pile, especially when we run out of twin energies. This build definitely will win against all fire matchups, but this deck will struggle against some tankier opponents. I am still kind of working out some adjustments with this deck, but overall I think this definitely has the potential to become a tier 1 budget deck. But maybe I'm just being too optimistic, we'll see. And that's pretty much it for the deck, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alrighty. We win the coin flip, and I'd like to go first. I don't know who we're fighting off against here. So let's put our Cramorant into the active. We have another one, but let's set up our Inteleon line here and put this Vitality Band. So we got a Mew from our opponent. Okay, so that that says a lot. <laughs> so we're up against the uh, Zation V, and they're gonna boss us order our Sable already, and they're gonna Intrepid Sword. So let's Pokecom into Drizzile. And I think we can get hmm. it's just Marnie. Could do Marnie. Yeah, cause um, our opponent has a lot in their hands anyways, and I don't, I don't really like the ones that we got. But doesn't seem like we got anything better. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I'll just put it on the Cramorant, and I'm just gonna scoop up Net so we can play Drizzle again in our next turn. Maybe we can get um, a better support on our next turn. So they're gonna play Jirachi and another Zacian V. And they're gonna boss us order the Saubal again. Okay, so their Zacian V is almost ready to attack. Let's just use um, Drizzile to evolve. And I think we need to start getting. Um, I think we need to start getting those. Arokudas on our bench. So Sonya will be our thing. And we're ju I'm just gonna get Snorlax because we need to speed up um, our hand here. And I'm just gonna Gormandize because their Zacian V is almost ready to attack anyways. And our opponent's gonna play a Quick Ball. And they're gonna play an Aura Guru, get an Aura Guru from the deck, and they're gonna switch out onto Jirachi. And they're gonna Professor's Research. What do we got? Okay, they're gonna use another Quick Ball. And uh, the Dene Metal Saucer onto the Zacian, an Air Balloon on Zacian, and they're ready to attack. They're gonna Dene. And they're gonna attach another energy on the other Zacian. They're gonna Stellar Wish. Okay, so we're gonna start planning out our move here. So, um, as long as they don't have Boss's Order, uh, they're gonna knock out our Snorlax. And what we're gonna do is evolve into Inteleon so we can get ourselves. I think I, I'm i gonna get, yeah, so we'll put Cramorant into the active. We can put the other water energy 
onto Cramorant and I'm gonna evolve into Inteleon so we can get ourselves thingy Lieutenant Surge because we are behind on prizes and we need to get our two Aracutus. Unfortunately, we don't have a fourth one, but I think that should, oh no, it's not gonna be enough to KO this, because um, it's gonna be 180, 190. Um, yeah, so, and we don't have a Lieutenant Surge, we got, it's fries. It is prized, so I think. Hmm. Um. We could just use these two quick balls, so we can use Leon. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's get rid of this. Get ourselves an Aracuda. Put that there. Use another quick ball. To get another Aracuda. So 190. That should be 220. Right? Yeah, so let's let's use quick ball. And I could get rid of Professor's research. Put that there. Scoop up net this Intellion line so we can start using it again. Use Leon. And continuous gold for using these three. I hope my math is right. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Exactly 220. Oh my gosh. Not bad. <laughs> and we got ourselves an Essa. Uh, we got a backup Cramorant all set to go. So even if they do knock us out with the current Zation. Um, they're gonna use air balloon there. Gonna stellar wish. So we have uh, twin energy ready to go. We have another Cramorant ready to go. Um, we already have Vanessa, so we're we're good. But can we pull it off again? Because we will not be able to do 220 damage anymore. Because we only have Leon in this deck. So they're gonna professor's research and they find another metal saucer to re-energize energize the Zation V. So I can knock out our Cramorant. So now I mean we have a Cramorant to use. So we can put uh, hmm. we can put 20 energy on it. We can evolve into Drizzile, maybe get a... We can get a switch. Um, yeah, let's just attach that energy. We can... We have to use Nessa for sure to start attacking. But... Is it enough to... Yeah. We can either get a switch... Hmm. Or a U-turn board. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna get a switch. So we'll switch into Cramorant. Use Nessa to get ourselves these three and an energy. Or I could just get this other Cramorant. Because we do need another backup uh, attacker just in case. So we'll put uh, the Aracutas in the bench and attack for 150 damage. Okay, because they do have that metal goggles that will reduce damage. So we just need to hit it for 70. Um, unfortunately, if if we do play the Cramorant, uh, we won't have a twin energy to 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 attach onto it. So. It will be a little bit challenging. 
Um, meanwhile, our opponent is uh, continuing to set up with their metal saucer here. Um, I mean, the one in their active doesn't have air balloons, so it will hard, it will have to do hard retreat or uh, they'll need, yeah, okay, that's what they do. I was gonna say they will need a switch, but at least now they'll have to worry about re-energizing that Zation V. Okay, they get another scoop up. Okay, they're gonna scoop up um, Jirachi. But now they can't retreat, so it's fine. And they're just gonna trap a sword, okay. They didn't get what they need. I mean, they're down to four, four cards in their deck. So we are a little bit ahead on this one. So we're just gonna play uh, Inteleon, and I think what we need here is another Nessa. And um, let's see, Pokey Gear. I mean, we could just pick out the support that we need, but hmm. Yeah, let's just get two Nessus. Why not? See, the thing why I don't like doing that is because if they have Marnie, um, okay, we'll just attach this. There's nothing to get there anyways. I don't want to fill out the bench. So let's just get these three Aracudas and another an energy instead of Drizzile. So let's just do that. Put those three in the bench. And we're just going to attack with one to knock out this Mew. Alright. So we get a Poke Gear off of that. Yeah, so having two Nessas... Um, it's not ideal because if they have a Marnie, it's going to go on the bottom of the deck. And, you know, we, having having to have just used Inteleon's ability uh, and it's already fully evolved, there might be not be a chance to be able to get it. That's why um, I was thinking of just getting Poke Gear because even if they do Marnie, like, just like that, even if they do Marnie, you know, only one Nessa is going to go in the bottom of the deck and not not two. So that's a, that's something to keep in mind for sure. I mean, we have an, a Barrascuta. We could even knock out that um, Zacian in the back. We still have two Nessas in the deck. At least... Um, yeah, we can promote this... Cramorant. We can put another energy on it to attack. We don't have much option at this point. Um, I mean, I could Gormandize. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just attach it. And then I'll go, uh, retreat for now. So I can Gormandize. I, I do need that Nessa. All right, cool. So we get another, we, we do have a Nessa now. And an, another another energy for our Cramorant. So, <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter if they do that. It's just gonna go onto our, onto our hand. So that's why you turn, I like your turn board, especially all of our Pokemon only has one retreat cost, except for Snorlax. Um, they have a Zamazenta, which we don't really mind. I mean, it will still knock out a uh, majority of our Cramorant, but... Okay. So, our opponent is regaining all of their cards back by means of Brock's Grit. So, they are not gonna get... They're not gonna deck out... Yet. And they have Ordinary Rod. Okay. So it's pretty straight out, you know, they're gonna, it's straight out um, offense on their, on their end. All right, they're just gonna switch out onto Zation V to knock out our Snorlax. So with that, I think what they're trying to do is just wait it out, thinking probably that they can't, that we can't knock out this uh, Zation anyways. And they're just gonna they're thinking of just tanking it but with their Mew gone 
We could just uh, evolve into Barracuda. We can use Nessa to get ourselves um, two Aracudas or one Aracuda and then one Water Energy for our Barracuda. But for now, we can Poke Gear. Um, but Boss's Order would not be a good idea because um, we need to hit that bench. So let's just get uh, Aracuda and. Yeah, let's just get all of them. Just so we have a lot of options, just in case. So I'm just gonna put this Aracuda onto the bench. Uh, energize this Barracuda so we can get that bench damage. Um, I, I'm not gonna play any Cramorant just yet because we might get the other Ar Aracuda on this price card, which is what I was hoping for. So we got it. Uh, we just need one price card so we can now we can use our boss's order to just gust one of those in the bench and be able to get for the knockout. So now their Zacian V cannot attack and they're, they're just probably just going to wait it out. But um, yeah, uh, th I think that's it. We, we, we win this game. <laughs> our opponent realizes it and then they just give up. Uh, yeah, either way, we were going to win that game. So, uh, good game. Good game. Alright, so... Who are we up against? Let's go first. Because why not? We like going first. So, Kramer is going to go into the active. We already have a twin energy. Okay, we're fighting off against fire. Which is really, really okay with us. Uh, Cramorant champions against fire decks. All right, we got a Victini V right off the bat. We can uh, we can play this capture energy. Uh, get our Snorlax. Yeah, we can Gormandize. Let's uh, get rid of this water. We can always just get it back with Nessa. And I mean, I could use a Sobble. Yeah, let's just do that. And I'm gonna switch into Snorlax and just Gormandize. So Chaotic Swell, we are also played that one because um, Fire decks most likely use um, Giant Hearth to get their Fire en Energies. So Chaotic Swell, you know, uh, will disrupt that. So they won't be able to play it anytime soon. Okay, you're gonna play a quick ball and get another Victini V. Um, as for our hand, uh, we have Twin Energy. We might not have a choice but to play that Twin Energy on our Cramorant and get a quick KO on this Victini V. But we won't be able to switch out our Snorlax, so we have to kind of figure that out as well. I don't want to use Professor's Research because that's going to discard our Nessa, which is not a good idea. Because we're very, we're very limited. We need Nessa for our Cramorant to continue attacking. We can't just waste it. Okay, so the our opponent's deck just got uh, a little stronger with the... Uh, Edition of Scorch V. And they're just going to end their turn. Alright, you don't mind that. You're going to put their Scorch V in the active. So, what we're going to do is just use Cynthia and Caitlyn to get three cards. Okay. Alright, cool. We get a Drizzile. We can evolve it. What we could do is get ourselves, um, I'm thinking Sonya, to get ourselves, um, yeah, let's just get Sonya, I think. Let's get Sonya, switch, and just put that there. I'm hoping we get an Inteleon because we can we can one hit KO this um Sentis Scorch V. Uh 
Okay. <laughs> Send to Scorch VMAX, I mean. Okay, they're gonna Marnie. Okay, we have ourselves Marnies as well. So th this is a good setup actually because um, we can use the capture energy to energize our Cramorant. And then we can use Sonya to uh, get two more Aracutas. Use Coop Up Net to get that Drizzle out of the active. We can reuse it again. And that should do 180 damage times 2. 190 damage times 2. That should one hit KO this uh, Senta Scorch V Max, actually. Alright, cool. Ooh. Oh no. 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 Oh man. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, we better hope for a twin energy in our next one. Alright, plan B. Get a Leon. Let us. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's just attach an energy to get ourselves an Arakuda. And we're just going to use Sonya to get the other two. And we're just going to set it up. And what I'm going to do, I think, is just scoop up net uh, this Drizzle. Because we can, we can definitely use that um, trainer. And I'm just going to Gormandize with Snorlax. Because even if they do knock out the Snorlax, um, at least uh, we have some control of what we're going to get as far as support. Because if they knock out um, the uh, if they have boss's order, which actually they just use professor's research or safe, we just need to get another energy for our Cramorant. Oh, they didn't even knock out uh, Snorlax. They didn't have enough energy. That's okay. So we'll just evolve into Drizzile, and we can just get a scoop up net to get our Snorlax back. That way, they're not gonna get a um, price card and I think I'm just gonna Marnie yeah oh I'm 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 hoping we get a all right cool <laughs> at least we get one water energy oh man that's a close one um, so let's just put it there so now we can attack and we have a secondary attacker and we're just gonna continue his gold for 380 okay cool so those that the three Cramorant, our three Aracuda was uh, enough, and we even got ourselves an Italian. So yeah, we we're on a roll here. We we're we're in a good spot. So uh, we can just use evolve into Intellion and get ourselves more Nessus, and just attack again. It, unless they evolve this current Sentis Scorch V into V Max, uh, it should be okay because uh, they'll need uh, four energy for it to attack and knock out our Cramorant. Because we just want energy, uh, they, they're only doing uh, chip damage. So our Cramorant should survive. Okay. They're just going to use Radiating Heat, which only deals 20 damage. And they're not going to, they're not even going to discard our energy. So we're just going to put the Vitality Band on our Bench Cramorant, evolve into Intellion and get ourselves Nessa. And, you know, let's just get a boss's order so we can pick out the Pokemon we want to knock out on our next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get energy here. So we don't need the Intellion. And then fill our bench. Um, fill our bench with Aracuda while putting that one water on our other Cramorant. So we have a secondary attacker just in case. I think we just need two. Yeah. We, all we needed was two to knock out this um, this Scorch. 
And we get another Arakuda, which is enough to knock out this Victini V. There you go. So our other um, Kramer is ready to go. So they will knock out our Kramer and the active. All we need to do is put this one into the active. <laughs> we get an energy. There you go. And I'm just gonna get another cram rat. Why not? Yeah, we win this game anyways, regardless. It's just uh, professor's research. There's our Nessa, so just in case we don't knock out this Victini <laughs> V, which we will. Uh, you know, we're all set. So, that's it. Cramorant champions against fire, guys. Alright, moving on to our next game here. We like going first, so we don't mind that at all. And both of us are gonna mulligan here. Ooh, we got ourselves a Charizard V Max deck. Like, just like our previous match, we should come top. We should come out on top with this uh, matchup. Yeah, Cramorant V, dude. It's uh, this this um. Cramorant V is a monster when it when it goes against uh, fire decks. You know, V Max, he doesn't care. <laughs> you know, we're just a tiny little card. You know, imagine uh, imagine uh, seeing that on video game. This little tiny Cramorant, and then one hit KOing the the giant <laughs> Charizard V Max. <laughs> Uh, so we got ourselves two Aracutas, um, and Charizard V. Okay, that's a that's a very odd support to use on a Charizard deck. What I'm thinking here is, I mean, we do have Nessa. We are still setting up. I think what we could do is we we gotta capture energy. I could attach an energy on Arakuda. I could even use the uh, flock attack to get ourselves more Arakudas onto the bench, and we can use Sonia to get two more Arakudas. My goodness, that's nice. Not all of them were priced, so we we are we are just gonna wreck this uh, our opponent. So I'm just gonna pass because we got all of our Arakutas anyways. Um, and then we have twin energy and a vitality band to top to top that. So we are gonna deal a lot of damage with the Cramorant. So we could energize Cramorant, put the vitality band, and we don't need to use Nessa. Um, I might use Marnie to get our subs another backup Pokemon just in case. Okay, so they're gonna end their turn with the Rotom Bike. So I'm just gonna retreat onto Cramorant, attach these, the Twin Energy, and, and I can, no, no. I have to Marnie because we need a backup because if by chance they knock out our active Cramorant, I won't have any Pokemon left and they'll win. So Snorlax seems to be a good option and we have a Drizzle anyways. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> 500, I think that was overkill, but <laughs> we have Nessa anyways to get them all back. Oh my gosh. Charizard VMAX, three prizes <laughs> from R1. Little tiny Cramorant. Alright. They're just gonna pass. And we're just gonna use Nessa to get our Arakutas back. Okay, <laughs> so our opponent gives up. Alright, good game. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Are we are we fighting off against the Zacian deck again? Uh, we are gonna mulligan. We don't have anything on our hand 
as of yet. Done. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cramoran can go into the active with Arakuda on the bench. Uh, so for our turn, I can use that quick ball. Get rid of one Professor's Research to get another Arakuda maybe. Uh, or Snorlax. Oh, okay. This is not... This is not an ideal uh, matchup for us because we are all weak against lightning. Even Italian is weak against lightning. Uh, for now, I think I'm just going to use um, Gormandai's Snorlax. So let's just get our Aracuda retreat and then use Gormandai's to get ourselves an up to 7 cards. Um... You know, before the threat goes any higher, uh, we can use that boss's orders to gust the um, Picaram tag team onto the active. Uh, we have twin energies, so we can just energize Cramorant and get that one hit KO on Picaram. Yeah, so with with uh, Pikachu and Zekrom tag team, um, we are worried because of our weakness to Lightning. But Cramorant is actually pretty strong. Um, being able to deal that 240 damage even without the Vitality Band. We just need all four Aracudas. But that's not, I don't think that's going to happen. Because we have one Arakuda in the prize card. We have one Arakuda prize. So we got our opponent having two Picaroms and Raichu tag team as well. The, the typical, the typical team. The typical tag team team and they're gonna top of Coco these two energies if they have energy switch that uh, Pikachu and Zekrom can start attacking and they could just scoop up this uh, Jirachi yeah so tag switch now they can start attacking if they have a switch um, that'll knock out our Snorlax okay uh, they didn't have anything to switch out so we're, we're okay. At least we have another Cramorant. I'm just going to use Poke Gear here. And we get a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, we could just use Cynthia and Caitlyn. Get ourselves two extra cards. Yeah, we can get rid of Marnie. They have three cards anyways. Okay. Um... I'll just put Inteleon there, Energize, Cramorant, and just pass. We can't use Gormandize because we have a lot on our hand anyways. We have a lot on our hands already. So I am hoping that they do attack Snorlax. That way I can um, attack with Cramorant. Even if we don't... KO the Pika, Pikachu and Zekrom. We have another uh, Cramorant ready to attack on our next turn. Okay, they're gonna team Yelgar. That's so fine. We can just reattach it. Okay, so they get a knockout off of that. And they're gonna take one prize card. So the only thing is if they energize Pikachu and Zekrom with six energies. Uh, they can target two. They can tar target two of our Cramorants at once. So it's not ideal. Um, they can actually win already. Uh, let's just evolve into Drizzile and see what we could do here. Um, let's just get a quick ball. But yeah, I think we don't have any more. 
Uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, Arakuda because they're all priced, or one of them is priced, so we cannot get a one one hit KO off of this um, Picaram. So I'm just gonna use Leon to increase our damage. Um, yeah, I, I will have to use, to play Cramorant because uh, what's gonna happen is let's just attack. We're not gonna knock it out. It's gonna deal 210 damage. That was pretty close. Just 30 more. Uh, so the thing is, even if they use their GX, uh, if we didn't put that Cramorant on the bench, he could just uh, tag. Uh, they could they could just GX attack and knock out two Pokemon at the same time, and they will win the game because we don't have any more. So having that Cramorant in the bench is is necessary. Um, they just attack. So we can we can knock out this uh, with this tag team then we can knock it out with our Cramorant. Um, that will give us three three prizes, so we will still get ahead of them in that way. So I'm just gonna attach this energy, twin energy and Cramorant, so it's ready to attack, and we can just get our, our other Cramorant back into play. So let's do that. Put our Aracudas, we only need to discard one to knock out this Picaram. So let's do that. So now they can't use their GX. They should actually just use that in their last turn. So that they could get, they have three cards, uh, three prizes left. But you know what? That's their decision. So, <laughs> you know, I'll take it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get our other Aracuda. So we still can't one hit KO this uh, Picaram, which is unfortunate. Um, we have boss's order. We can just gust that um, Jirachi for the one for the one easy uh, KO. So they can knock out this Cramorant, but that's okay. Uh, we could just. Uh, Hmm. Actually, what is a good option here? We don't have Nessa yet. All right, so they're just gonna go ahead and knock out that Cramorant. We have another replacement. So we'll just promote the other Cramorant. Uh, we have a Vitality Band, which will increase damage. Put the Twin Energy. And... We don't have a replacement for this Cramorant to attack. So, I am kind of worried. So, I think... I, I'll just have to use Professor's Research, maybe. But, since we're gonna discard... Let's just uh, use Quick Ball. I think that the best option really is to get another attacker. Um, so let's uh, use Professor's Research. I'm hoping for a Twin Energy here. Sweet. And an Essa. So we're all set for the next turn actually. What we could do is just uh, chip damage um, this Picaram. Uh, should we use... Scoop up net. Yeah, let's just do that. So we can use um, Drezile in, uh, uh, after we use Nessa on our next turn. I'm just going to put the U-turn board just in case. And I'm just going to go up missile um, for 130 damage. So we should be able to knock it out with just uh, uh, two Aracudas using Nessa. And that should win us the game. Three prizes off of this um, Pikachu and Zekrom. And that will actually get us behind on prizes. So what I could even do is use Drizzile to get ourselves a Lieutenant Surge. That way I can use um, Boss's Order and Nessa. 
so that we can um, gus, just gust the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom tag team back onto the active. Uh, they also have a Pikachu VMAX on their deck. I like Pikachu. Okay. I, I think we got this, guys. Yeah. So, the Intellion line definitely helps in this deck. And Lieutenant Surge, uh, I think, is very useful to have uh, in this deck. Even just one copy, because you can use Cynthia and Caitlyn to get it back. And we also have uh, the the Pal Pads to get, to get those back. So, we're not going to be able to knock out this... Um, Raichu tag team. So let's just put the twin energy and I think that's what we're gonna do. Just uh, uh, um, Let's just use quick ball for now get another cram rat just in case We don't succeed Let's use Drizzile to get ourselves a lieutenant surge Um. Yeah, I think that's the best option here. Lieutenant Surge. Nessa. To get ourselves three Aracudas. And Cramorant. Or an Energy. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Cramorant. So we have a lot of Cramorants. Ready to go. Okay. We'll play all of that. Boss's orders for the win. Just get all of this out. 180 damage. Knocking out their Picaram tag team for the win. Cramorant, guys. Good game. I just gotta say, Cramorant is one of my favorite Pokemon ever designed. I think it's just a very silly Pokemon. I have to admit, I am very proud of designing this particular build. It is very consistent and fun to play. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.